Preparation, reflect, reflect, jad. I'm sure we've all been hit with that combo at one point or another before. It's not fun to come up against, and I'm hopefully going to explain why this card existing is bad for Chronicle as a game. To start this off, we need to travel back to a time long before we players had even heard of Chronicle. A couple of years ago, in the Jagex internal alpha version of the game, a certain mod by the name of Genesis was running a one-turn kill combo deck. Back then, preparation gave you gold equal to your next creature's attack, not half of it, and reflect only costed four gold. This actually meant that the combo I stated at the start of the video was actually possible to pull off in chapter one. It was an all or nothing gamble where you knew the game was going to end that chapter because one of you were dying. I can only imagine how mad I would have been to be on the end of uh, chapter one like that. It was uncounterable unless you healed in one particular slot and that's highly unlikely at the start of a game. Now, this leads me on to the first problem with Reflect. The fact that it's uncounterable consistently, even in its current state. People may argue that stealing gold will counter it, but when your opponent starts a chapter with little or no gold, there are no signs that a Reflect or two is coming. You can't play around something that's impossible to see. Other cards that can deal the same or potentially more damage, like Earth Blast or Deadly Prey, are signposted a long way out, either with the build-up of gold or card draw, or the appearance of, or the appearance of certain creatures throughout the game. Reflect can be slotted into a pretty standard AP sustained Raptor deck and hidden away nicely. When something is signposted, its power level is reduced and you're able to prepare for it or even counter it completely. This encourages skillful deck builders and players, as even the most powerful cards are able to be beaten by the best players. If a card has no counterplay, the difference in skill level between players is nullified. I've got absolutely no problem with very strong cards existing, but they need to have a downside and be counterable through clever deck building and play. There are a few cards that aren't quite right currently and reflect one of them. The second issue I have with this is the fact that the combo is actually surprisingly common to pull off for up to 30 damage. None of the cards involved are diamonds, so you're able to run multiples of them. And because they slot nicely into a standard Raptor Sustain deck, you're able to survive and draw them out until you have what you need. Think about it. With only playing one White Wolf in a chapter, you're able to draw a sixth of your entire deck before the start of the next chapter. This is leading me on to another discussion about deck sizes in Chronicle, but that's for another video. Back to the point I was making, the fact that the 30 damage combo is so much more consistent than you think it might be, is a problem. Plus, even if you don't draw it out, the deck is good enough in itself to win in the final fight. The final issue I have with this card, and this is probably the more important issue when it comes to whether or not it's good for the game, is that it's just unfun to play against. We've been through the stage of the game where Gold Zone was dominant, and the main issue with that was it was just an unfun deck to come up against. For a lot of decks, it was just impossible to compete against, and just shut down an entire area of deck creativity. An area that has to be greatly encouraged. Do you remember how it felt to come up against the Goldzone sometimes? It just felt like a waste of five minutes watching them build up gold quickly and one-shotting you to the face. Well, Reflect is pretty much the same feeling, but without the couple of chapters of setup. It just appears out of nowhere, and what you thought was turning out to be a really interesting close match with both players countering each other's plays has all of a sudden ended because it was impossible to see 15 or even 30 damage coming so quickly. Hell, it could even happen that you're absolutely dominating a match and your opponent plays a completely suicidal chapter as a last resort. Whilst I'm okay in theory with this, it shouldn't be powerful enough to deal damage equal to the maximum possible health a legend can have, forgetting certain cards of course. Overall, I believe Reflect needs to be looked at soon before it turns into even more of a problem. You don't want to turn off players from the game, and cards like this, which you can't counter, are a number one pet peeve of new and old players alike. Thank you for watching this. Drop me a like and subscription if you enjoyed it. Let me know if you agree with me or not. I'd love to know what players from all levels think about Reflect. Hey, I'm even open to having my mind changed with regards to this, if someone can convince me. If there are any parts of Chronicle you want me to discuss like this, be it cards or mechanics or anything, leave a comment below.